Good afternoon. I am Catherine Addy. I am the interim president of Great Bay Community College, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to our ceremonies today. We will begin today's festivities with the singing of the national anthem, sung by our very own students, Ashley Atkinson and Echo Szynski. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets rattled the bombs bursting in Thank you. Please be seated. It is now my pleasure to introduce a group of distinguished guests, members of the college who are here on the stage. Please stand when I read your name and remain standing until all introductions are made. The audience, please hold your applause, and I hope there will be some applause, but please wait until everyone has been introduced. First, Lisa McCurley, Vice President of Academic Affairs. Tina Favara, Vice President of Student Success and Enrollment. Deanna Friedman, Associate Vice President of Academic Affairs. Dr. Dulcinea Kaufman, Academic Chair, Department of Nursing. Christine Carberry, member of the college's advisory board. Now you may applaud. At this time, I would also like to have other academic department chairs and program co coordinators who are with us today to please be recognized. Please stand. I can see that we have many proud graduates and their families here today, and the sun came out, so life is good. It is really a relief to be here today in person instead of doing this over a computer screen. Even when, yes, even when we started planning for this day, we were not certain it would actually happen. But here we are, so this will be a special event for all of us, not just for you graduates. We are especially glad to be able to return to campus this year because it is Great Bay's 75th anniversary, which makes Great Bay among the oldest community colleges not only in New England, but in the entire United States. 
And as I also get older each year, I believe more than ever that longevity is something to be celebrated. Every year, though, when preparing for commencement, I think about my own experience and am shocked to remember how long ago it actually was. In many ways, I don't feel any older than the day I did when I graduated, except that I had mostly dark brown hair. Does that mean then that when we look in the mirror, we usually see ourselves as we think we are? Young, old, fat, thin, attractive, not. Does the mirror reflect what we really believe, not what might actually be there? So graduates, how are you seeing yourselves today? Hopefully you all have a plan or know what is next. Today by itself, this ceremony, these words, this degree is not going to change your life. It is what you do after today that will change your life. As you look in that mirror then after today, I hope you see yourself as someone who is as prepared to take on whatever comes your way, as someone who is still curious about life, wanting knowledge and understanding, and someone who tries to do what is right. Be proud, but not satisfied. I could be talking today about how rough the last year has been and what a mess we are in as a country, maybe, and how you have to fix things, but without saying exactly how to fix things or the path to take. We don't agree on that. About the best I can say to you is that yes, times are difficult right now. Yes, there is a lot of social upheaval. Yes, electronic devices seem to be taking over our lives. But each generation has its challenges. My grandparents had the challenges of World War I and the first pandemic. My parents had the challenge of World War II and polio. My generation, Vietnam, AIDS. The next generations, 9-11, the Gulf War. Your generation gets COVID for now. Nonetheless, I strongly believe that having an education means that you will be able to meet those challenges, whatever they are, and triumph over them. And the rest of us, we believe that you will live up to our high expectations of you, and in fact, we are counting on it. Your timing could not be better for completing your nursing degree here at Great Bay. Even though there are many who suggest that the United States may be reaching a different plateau in our struggle with COVID, there is no question but what the pandemic has changed our society, including our healthcare system, in ways that could not have been predicted when you first started your journey to become a nurse. Thus, while there are a zillion reasons you could have changed your mind in the past year, we are all so grateful you did not waver. Thank you for persevering, for tolerating the many changes we had to make in your schedules from lab sessions to clinical experiences. Thank you for staying focused on the larger goal of learning as much as you could. And thank you for doing it with such grace and generosity and patience. Those of you who now will be lucky to serve many, and they will be lucky to have you caring for them. We only implore that you continue to do your best every day to take care of yourselves and to never be satisfied without, with not having another goal to accomplish, another credential to attain, or another life to save. But be proud of where you are now as well and let that pride carry you as far as you decide to go in the future. Congratulations and best wishes to you all. Thank you for making Great Bay a part of your journey. Thank you. Thank you. At this time, I am pleased to announce the recipients' names for the 2021 Chancellor's Awards for Service Excellence and Teaching Excellence. These awards provide acknowledgement of our outstanding staff and faculty by their peers. These awards were distributed at our all-college meeting last week. The Chancellor's Award for Service Excellence is presented to two people who are instrumental in this event today, as well as so much that goes on at Great Bay, Brian Scott and Brittany Mulkegan of Student Life. Please give them a round of applause.
The Chancellor's Award for Teaching Excellence was presented to Bonnie Miller, a faculty member in the Veterinary Technology Program. We are also honored to announce the recipients' names for the 2021 President's Award, Outstanding Adjunct Faculty and Outstanding Student. The recipient of the President's Award for Outstanding Adjunct Faculty was nominated by a student and voted upon by his peers. This award is given to an adjunct whose commitment to Great Bay Community College serves academic integrity and students' needs and the greater interest of the teaching and learning community. This award was just presented to Reed Gourley, an adjunct clinical faculty member in the nursing department. The President's Award for Outstanding Student is presented to a student who has demonstrated academic excellence in his or her classes and has made outstanding contributions to the college and the community. It is an honor to present this award to a nursing student, Ms. Ashley Atkinson. Ashley, please come forward. Thank you, Ashley. I would now like to introduce Lisa McCurley, Vice President of Academic Affairs, who will announce the recipient's names for the 2021 Academic Department Award. Lisa. Good evening, everyone. I am pleased to announce the Academic Department Award for Nursing. The award winner will please stand when their name is called. The award will be sent to your house so you don't have to come up and, um, and retrieve it. The student is hereby recognized for outstanding achievement in our nursing degree program. Rachel Saul, please stand. Congratulations, Rachel, and thank you, everyone. I would now like to introduce Dr. Dulcinea Kaufman, the Department Chair of Nursing, who will speak to the history of the pinning. Dr. Kaufman? Good evening, every, or good afternoon, everybody, I should say. Right, It's too sunny out. Um, so thank all of you. Uh, welcome. Thank you for coming today, um, especially to our graduates, which it's so strange to be seeing. Like, <laughs> I have to pan to see all of you, um, but maybe that's better because I think, as I was saying to Dr. Addy before we came out here, I think if I saw you all together and saw all your faces, it would be, it would be very emotional, and I don't know if I could uh, to, to get through this. So um, uh, I've been, had the honor of being the department chair and chairperson for this uh, outstanding group of individuals and uh, you know, our faculty and working with a lot of wonderful people here. Um, this is a really proud moment for everyone here tonight. Um, this combined graduation and pinning ceremony is a really special way for us to memorialize these past two years that you've had in the nursing program. I'd first like to start by acknowledging our distinguished nurse, nursing faculty who are here this afternoon. Please stand when I call your name. Dr. Nancy DeSoto, Professor Heather Lemire, Professor Lori Mancuso, Professor Carrie Marchand, Professor Kelly McDonough, and Professor Lori Murray. These are our nursing, oh, and you know who else is here is our amazing secretary, Carrie Tice, and I think she's been helping out, so I don't know if she's stand, if you're sitting down here, Carrie, you should stand up. There she is in the back. Yes. So, you guys can sit. Thank you. Did I miss somebody? I did. Who did I miss? Oh, I was going to go to them next, too. Sorry. Thank you. 
it's like I've never done this before. I'm like nervous for some reason. I usually like the microphones, people know. Um, uh, so I also want to acknowledge our adjunct faculty, uh, Cindy Folding and Kim Mihalik. And Sarah McKenzie is also here somewhere, but she didn't process with us. Oh, there she is in the back. Thank you. Woo. Um, and so you guys can also sit. And I also want to acknowledge, because as I was sitting there, I was thinking also about all of our amazing science faculty who are also here, and they're probably going to be going to like a million graduations. So I want you guys to stand and, as well. So please do that. You can stretch at least. And then all of our amazing staff that are here from admissions, advising, one stop, all of you. Thank you so much. Stand too, please. Thank you so much. And usually these same people come, we usually have a separate nursing and a commencement ceremony, and they usually come to both of those. So um, we truly have a wonderful supportive team here. So I want to talk to you a little bit about now uh, kind of who Florence Nightingale is, a little bit of the history of the pinning ceremony, and then kind of what we're doing here today, just so you'll understand kind of the flow of, of what we're doing, because it's a little unusual. So as you might know, the World Health Organization designated 2020 as the International Year of the Nurse and Midwife in recognition of the 200th birthday of Florence Nightingale. And little did we know at that time how much of a year that would be for the nurse. The importance of nurses has never been more apparent at the national, state, and local level than with this occurrence of the COVID-19 pandemic. In fact, because of that increased visibility of nursing and because people really saw, wow, nurses are really impactful, uh, they actually extended that Nurse of the Year honor into this year of, of 2021. So we have a whole nother year to appreciate nurses and um, it's very apropos. Uh, because this past week, our department has, has had so many students and faculty receive special recognition for their achievements this past year. You heard Dr. Addy and Vice President McCurley talk about the academic award for the highest GPA in nursing, Rachel Saul. And Rachel, that is why you were chosen as the student marshal, because you kept asking us and that we couldn't tell you, so that's why. Um, the President's Award for Outstanding Adjunct, one of our psych, uh, great psych instructors, Reed Gorley, uh, and our President's Award uh, for um, Outstanding Student, Ashley Atkinson. But in addition, our Great Bay Student Nurses Association swept the Great Bay Community College Leadership Awards this year. They were awarded three different awards. One of them was for the Student Organization of the Year. And to me, that's always one of the most important awards, right? Because it shows you a group effort and it really epitomizes what we are like in nursing. So I just want to do some call outs to some of the, to the board members and other people. So um, Ashley, Bridget Berry, Katie Brokus, Rachel, and Jeremy Van Dessel, along with other past board members um, and other people in, in this class that were really instrumental in their success this past year. As noted by the, the Director of Student Life, Brittany Mulkegian, GBSNA has demonstrated the power of collaboration and ingenuity to achieve its goals while never allowing the pandemic to be an obstacle. The organization found new ways to exceed its fundraising goals, serve its communities, and as a result, two members, Ashley and Rachel, each performed over 100 hours of community service. I think the majority of those were at um, this wonderful organization, Partners for World Health. GBSNA is also recognized as a 100-hour club member. And that honor is given to any club or organization or individual who provides at least 100 hours of community service within an academic year. So really a wonderful honor. They also, um, there's also um, other leadership awards within um, the college, and uh, the Student Leader Award was given to our pre the President, Ashley, and then the Student Organization Advisor of the Year was our Professor Lori Murray. So that is, if you're paying attention here, that's six separate awards that this class got during a pandemic. That's pretty awesome. 
So I want to give them another round of applause. So you might have seen a lot of nursing appreciation, right? You see the Dunkin' Donuts getting free coffee, and um, I don't know if there's been other, a lot of it's been free coffee, which is nice. Um, and you've seen like it's Nurses Day, Nurses Week, International Nurses Day. So officially, International Nurses Day was two days ago, May 12th, and that's commemorating, that's Florence Nightingale's official birthday. So we all do know her, right? We know that she founded nursing, but I don't know if the non-nursing people in the audience are aware that she was also one of the first people to figure out that hand washing and keeping patients in rooms clean were the keys to preventing the spread of infection. And really until 2020, these were things that most of us kind of took for granted and didn't really put too much attention on. So, um, but we, we have Florence Nightingale to thank for that. She was, ended up being awarded the Royal Red Cross by Queen Victoria in 1883 for her service during the Crimean War, 30 years after she'd actually served. Um, at the time, they actually didn't award women um, anything for, for any of their, um, what, what they had done during battles. So that's why it was done so many years later. So then Florence Nightingale said, this is a good idea. I should also do this for my students. And so she awarded medals to her students, uh, that the, the brightest of the bunch. And then that's evolved into a nursing pinning ceremony where everyone is awarded a nursing pin for all the graduates of the program. So what you're going to see today after you hear from our student speaker, where that's when we'll have our first integrated degree conferral with the pinning ceremony. And while each student is receiving their diploma, they will then be pinned. One of our faculty is going to be reading from a sentiment card that was prepared by that student. And the final part of the pinning ceremony will be when all of the graduates will stand with their candles and they will read the Nightingale Pledge. So I thank again all of you for being here and again congratulations to each one of you. Thank you Dulcinea. A commencement student speaker is expected to embody the attributes that include leadership, civic and community engagement, and engage in intellectual development through a process of inquiry and discovery. A student speaker models these attributes through academic excellence and utilizes this honor to celebrate the accomplishments of their fellow graduates. At this time, please allow me to introduce our student speaker this afternoon, Erin Haggerty. Good afternoon, class of 2021, and those joining us from the class of 2020. Thank you faculty, family, and friends who have joined us today to show their support, as they have through the course of our studies. I'm honored to be speaking to you as we celebrate the end of our experience at Great Bay by graduating into the profession of nursing. I found my way to Great Bay after graduating from a four-year university with a bachelor's in health science and I didn't know what I wanted to do with it. I left undergrad thinking that I would find a job in health advocacy or global nonprofit work and that I would be happy. I quickly realized that promoting healthcare from the office setting wasn't the right fit for me. I retreated to a former job in food service while I figured out my next steps. During the same period of time that I was figuring out my own path, my grandmother's health was declining as she, was battle, as she battled with cancer and the complications that accompanied chemo and radiation. My Nana went from being a spirited and social woman living on her own to spending her days in and out of hospitals and depending on others to accomplish her activities of daily living. I witnessed her interactions with the nurses that cared for her and I noticed the gratitude my Nana had for those who offered her their time and their compassion. A nurse is an advocate and a, caregiver, and, 
and a caregiver for patients during some of the most difficult times of their lives. I thought about how honored I would feel to be that person to patients experiencing similar hardship to my grandmother. So, with a greater amount of confidence this time around, I applied to the nursing program at Great Bay Community College, and I can now say that I never second-guessed that decision. The class of 2020 and 2021 experienced nursing school like no other class that preceded us. The pandemic required us to adjust our expectations of what the future of the program would hold. Within just one week, sorry, <laughs> within just one week, our courses and clinicals switched from 100% in person to 100% remote. I remember looking forward to my first opportunity to practice nursing skills on the med surge unit at Portsmouth Hospital. It was difficult to accept that I'd have to trade in that experience to try and meet the same learning objectives from my living room. Despite how silly it seemed to prime my V-lines at home or practice injections on fruit with my clinical group over Zoom, we adapted to make the most of the situation. I've noticed that many qualities we practiced as students during the pandemic are ones that we will utilize in becoming successful nurses. Our class demonstrated flexibility as the assignments and schedule changed to adhere to COVID regulations. We demonstrated creative thinking by developing our own strategies to augment the topics discussed in remote clinical. For example, practicing physical assessments on family members and sometimes even pets. Being a nursing student during the pandemic emphasized the importance of checking in on our own mental health. As nurses, we often, we often learn to take care of others and forget to take care of ourselves. We, dem we demonstrated resilience by continuing our commitment to the program despite whatever personal hardships brought on by the pandemic. Many of us dealt with increased stress from unexpected job loss, children learning from home, family and friends getting sick, or increased demands at work. Regardless of whatever was happening in our personal or professional lives, we were held to the same standards and course objectives to continue on in the nursing program. Despite all of the changes we've had to make and the opportunities we may have missed, I do believe that my classmates and I are strongly prepared to become RNs. We are prepared by understanding how to think like a nurse. Our professors taught us the concepts of safety, critical thinking, and nursing judgment to assure our future patients will receive quality care. Additionally, we are prepared for a future in nursing because of what we have taught each other. This program encouraged us to share our experiences and unique skills with our peers in order to grow together. We fostered a spirit of teamwork and support throughout our clinical rotations by offering each other a helping hand, asking one another for advice, or even just coming together at the end of the day to vent about our experience on the floor. A nurse's duty is to care for our patients, but we also need to take care of and support one another. I remember a Zoom call that I was on last April with my extended family. My aunt asked me if the pandemic made me rethink my decision to become a nurse. I told her that in a sense, COVID has made me even more drawn to the career. I know that being a nurse right now is a tough job. No one foresees a global pandemic, and it certainly isn't what we imagined we were signing up for. That being said, nurses are trained to treat patients with communicable diseases. We are trained on how to utilize proper PPE to keep ourselves and others safe. All of these duties hold great responsibility, and that's why not everyone is going to choose to become a nurse. During these times, it's important for us to remember that nurses have the honor of taking care of people in their absolute worst moments. We reassure, listen to, and advocate for our patients when they feel the most vulnerable. I'm grateful to be completing Great Bay's nursing program and to join a profession where I can make a difference in someone's life each and every day. I'd like to thank the faculty on behalf of my entire class for their guidance and flexibility over the last two years. We appreciate the work that went into making the transition to online learning as seamless as possible. Thank you for the commitment you've shown towards preparing us for bright futures as professional nurses. In closing, to my fellow graduates, take a breath. 
reflect on everything that you've accomplished in the past two years, and be extremely proud of yourselves. Remember the lessons that you've learned through your studies and clinicals, as well as the discoveries you've made about your own strength, resilience, and character during our unique nursing school journey. I truly believe that the future holds incredible opportunities for every one of us. Believe in your, or, sorry, <laughs> a career in nursing is a great privilege and it should not be taken lightly. Believe in yourself and the ability you have to make a difference in the lives of individuals, as well as your ability to create change in the world. Congratulations and best of luck to the next generation of nurses, to my fellow graduates in the class of 2021. Thank you. Will today's graduates please rise? President Addy, I present to you the students of the class of 2021 who have fulfilled the requirements for a degree. Graduates, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Constitution of the State of New Hampshire and the laws of the State of New Hampshire, I have the honor to present the appropriate degree to those candidates who have met the requirements of their respective curriculum with all the rights, honors, and privileges pertaining thereto. You may be seated. As a reminder, we'd like to ask everyone in the audience to please remain seated for the entirety of the program. I'm sorry, I forgot my spot. Will degree candidates please come forward as your name is called? The following are candidates for the degree of Associate in Science in Nursing. Ashley Nicole Atkinson. Ashley would like to thank Mark and her mother for their loving support and Louise for her guidance. She would also like to thank her study group for being the best study group on the planet. Remember, don't spike it like a football. <laughs> Bridget Nicole Berry. Bridget would like to thank her parents, grandparents, and husband for their endless support, her study buddies for their time and knowledge, and her advisor, Lori Murray, for pushing her and believing in her when she didn't believe in herself. Jacqueline A. Bean Erner. Okay. Jacqueline would like to thank her husband and family for their unyielding support her girls for the unforgettable laughs, tears, and texts, and takeout for all the home-cooked meals. Jamie Lynn Bellinger. Jamie would like to thank her family and friends for supporting her over the past two years and for always inspiring her to never give up on herself. She would also like to thank her girls, Jacqueline, Callie, Kirsten, and Sophia for dragging her to the finish line and talking her out of becoming an exotic dancer 6,537 times. <laughs> she says, you girls are beautiful and she can't wait to see where life takes you all. And last but not least, we did it. Emily Benway. Emily would like to thank her family and friends for sticking by her side and for pushing her through the two-year emotional roller coaster called nursing school. 
Challenges are what make life interesting, and overcoming them is what makes a registered nurse. Katie Brokus. Katie would like to give God the glory and praise. She also wants to thank her amazing group of people who have uplifted and encouraged her through all of this. To her mom, she is forever grateful you are always in her corner and she loves you. To the GBCC faculty and staff, she says, our success is a reflection of your hard work. And lastly, to the classmates that are now her family, she has loved all the food and friendship shared, but mostly the food. Candace Brunel. Candace would like to say thank you to all of the professors, adjuncts, and Carrie Tice for getting her and her classmates through this crazy time. Amber, Isra, and Gosia for always talking her off the ledge. And most importantly, her family for understanding how all consuming nursing school has been. Amanda Marie Buckley. Amanda says she's not. Amanda says she's not sure who's more excited this phase is over, her or her family. This has been one heck of a long, wild ride, but we made it. Huge thanks to Mo and her kids, Jackson and Nevaeh, for putting up with and supporting her. She loves you. Brittany Lee Busfield. Brittany would like to thank the Great Bay faculty for their adaptability during a year unlike any other. Her parents for always loving and supporting her in everything she chooses to do. And lastly, Connor, for enduring endless nights of takeout, an overflowing laundry basket, and her continuously changing schedule over the past two years. You gave her every tool she needed to succeed and always made sure that her stomach and heart were full. She could not have done this without you. Erica Christine Carboneau. Erica would like to thank her friends and family who have supported her during these long two years of nursing school. She couldn't have done this without the support of her friends and study buddies in this program. And a special shout out to her cat, Boo Bear, who endured all of the online lectures with her in late night study sessions. <laughs> Blanca Elena Carino Paradis. Blanca would like to especially thank her family and friends who have been there supporting her since day one through this long and intense journey. She knows it has not been an easy one. You guys are the best and she loves you. She also wants to thank her classmates and instructors for helping her keep her head up. We can finally say we did it. Courtney Casasa. Courtney would like to thank her family for always believing that she could make her dream of becoming a nurse come true and for their endless support. She would also like to thank her husband for calming her nerves before every exam and always letting her know that she can do it, she'll succeed, and to trust in her faith. And finally, she would like to thank her nursing school family for their endless encouragement. Echo Celesco. Echo would like to thank her family and friends near and far. She loves you and could not be here today without all of your inspiration. To her mom and dad, she thanks you for teaching her how to reach her goals. To Ed and Cheryl, she thanks you for taking her in as one of your own and helping her to finish school. To her husband and children, she thanks you for being patient with her and giving her something to smile about each day. To her instructors, patients, and fellow classmates, she thanks you for helping her learn. She says, and lastly, to me, I did it. Brittany Klein. Brittany would like to quote Dwight Schrute from The Office. <laughs> I am ready to face any challenges that might be foolish enough to face me. Cassie Ann Connor. Casey would like to thank everyone who supported and cheered her on through this journey, especially her boyfriend Mike, who believed in her more than anyone and supported her in every way possible so that she could accomplish her dream of becoming a nurse. She also could not have survived the last two years without her parents, her sister, amazing friends, and all of the Great Bay faculty and her classmates who have become some of her closest friends. Callie Delacroix. 
Kelly would like to thank her family and friends, especially her mom for being her biggest support through this whole journey. She literally could not have done this without you. Megan M. Dalgallo. Megan's pin reads, be just, merciful, and brave. These are the qualities that she hopes to embody throughout her nursing career. Megan gives special thanks to James for his devoted support during the past three years, to her son Grant for being her inspiration and motivation, and to her mother for always demanding academic excellence. Gosha Goreka. Gosha would like to express her deepest gratitude to all the nursing instructors and staff. Special thank you to Dulcinea for navigating our program through these turb turbulent times and to her advisor, Carrie. She would also like to thank Amber, Isra, and Candace for their support and to congratulate all of her classmates. Lastly, she would like to thank her family, especially her husband, Dennis, and her son, Boris. Let the new begin. Danielle Grove. Danielle would like to say that today will be the completion of the greatest achievement in her life thus far. Today turns the dream that she had at five years old, working on her dad's splintered hands into a reality. Today she can say with confidence she is ready to be a nurse. Lastly, she would like to thank the Great Bay Nursing faculty and staff for helping make her dream come true. Langston Hammer Nagel. Langston would like to thank his friends and family who have supported him throughout this journey. He would like to give special thanks to his cats, Artemis and Freya, who during his darkest moments in this program were there to bless him with cuddles and love. He says, I am so happy to be done, plus ultra. Not sure what that means, but put it in there for you. Aaron Hegarty. Erin would like to thank her family and friends for their love and support throughout nursing school journey. She is forever grateful for everything this program has taught her, <laughs> both in and out of the classroom. <laughs> she would also like to thank the faculty for the invaluable knowledge and guidance along the way. And lastly, she would like to say good luck to her classmates. She can't wait to hear about all the amazing achievements the class of 2021 will make in this world. Toby Heisey. Toby would like to thank her family for supporting her through this journey. When she stumbled in the dark, you lifted her and believed in her and loved her. Now, for your love and light, she shines. Her heart is forever filled with gratitude and love. Akshiata Kuthumi. Achiara would like to thank her dad, her sister, and her brother for giving her the strength to persevere through these past two years. She would like to thank Georgina, Khalid, and Jeff for always being a source of comfort and her biggest cheerleaders. She would also like to thank the faculty and school for this incredible journey. And last but not least, she would like to thank her mom for blessing her every day from above. Sarah E. Lambert. It has been a dream of Sarah's to become a nurse, and she could not have been able to accomplish this dream without her support system. She would like to thank her husband, Matt, for being right by her side through it all and supporting her in every way possible. She loves you. She would also like to thank her parents. She will cherish those study session walks with her mom. Lastly, she would like to thank her classmates and faculty for being so supportive and hardworking. We did it. Danielle Denis Logier. Danielle believes she could not have made it this far without the support and encouragement from her family. She especially wants to thank her biggest fan and husband, Nate, for drying the many tears nursing school can bring. To her children, she would like to say, I hope I have shown you that perseverance and love can make anything possible.
Jamie McFadden. Jamie would like to thank the nursing faculty for believing in her enough to give her a second chance. Second, she would like to thank her family for their support, encouragement, and for dealing with her through this crazy roller coaster ride. Finally, she says, Scott, thank you for believing in me when I didn't believe in myself and pushing me to fulfill my lifelong dream. Scott, Emily, Vadic, Piper, Jack, and Dale, thank you so much. Love you guys. Taryn Lee Murphy. Taryn would like to say the past two years have been quite a roller coaster, not just with school, but with her life as well. She is so grateful for her family, close friends, teachers, and her dog, Jax, who have all helped her get through. They always say you find some of your closest friends in nursing school. I never knew that they meant they would also help save me. You know who you are. And like her pin says, I survived because that's what I do. Class of 2021, we did it. Amber Null. Amber would like to thank her family for being so supportive and putting up with her through her stress and craziness, especially her amazing husband. She would also like to thank her classmates and friends she's met along the way for all that they have done for her. And lastly, she would like to say thank you to the nursing staff for all that they have done for her and making everything happen for her and her classmates. Congratulations to everyone here today. Kirsten Carter Pesarisi. Kirsten would like to thank her parents and sister for always supporting her in all of her endeavors. Your support is much appreciated. She would also like to thank her fiance, who has consoled her throughout the past two years during every single meltdown. She says, I think he's better at therapeutic communication than I am. <laughs> and lastly, she would like to thank her nursing friends. She says, I couldn't have made, this, made it through this without you. I love you all. Bread. Danielle Piso. Danielle would like to thank her family, her boyfriend, and her friends. She really appreciates all the help and support you have given her while she was getting her nursing degree. She would like to thank her teachers for the patience, knowledge, and wisdom provided over the past two years. She would also like to thank Haley and Lauren for being there for her at all hours of the day and night. Without the two of you, she feels she would not have been able to get through this program, and she is forever grateful to have met you. Haley L. Robinson. Haley would like to thank her husband for supporting her every step of the way, her advisor, Heather, for being there during moments of doubt, and the amazing friends she has made in this program, including Danielle and Lauren, who had a group chat going at all hours during the last two years. Lastly, she would like to thank her daughter, Finley, who, has, who was understanding when she had to study and allowed her to practice assessments on her. We officially did it, guys. Caitlin Christine Rose. Caitlin would like to thank her family and her girlfriend for believing in her, even when she didn't believe in herself. She would not be where she is now without your unwavering support. Liza Ann Roy. Liza would like to thank her parents for their inspiration in pursuing a career in healthcare, as well as their lifelong unconditional support. Her boyfriend Tucker for providing essential early morning daycare that allowed her to get to clinical on time. And her daughter Zoe for being her driving force to succeed. And for her patience through countless nights of homework and chicken nugget dinners. Rachel Britt Saul. Rachel would like to thank her husband, Brett, and her kids, Abby, Juliet, Elizabeth, and Alex, for laughing with her as well as at her, and for making her life whole. The sweet forever friends she has made here at Great Bay, for keeping her young and full of hope and humor, and to our amazing professors for being so accessible and staying strong so we can all follow our dreams during historic times and also her parents, Britt and David Cryer, who have spent almost 47 years teaching her that she could be anything she wanted to be. Adrienne Snyder. 
Adrian would like to say this moment is evidence that persistence can transform failures into extraordinary achievement. She is immeasurably grateful for the unwavering support of her day one tribe, for her family and friends who are steadfast and kind, and for Adley Jane, may you always be curious. She is thankful for the beautiful camaraderie of peers and faculty in this room who brought life and laughter to the last two years. To those of you who have extended hands, offered shoulders, and facilitated countless talks off the ledge, she says, thank you. We made it, and your love, patience, and inspiration has made all the difference. Lauren A. Twombly. As long as Lauren can remember, she has wanted to be a nurse, and her dream is finally coming true. She wants to thank her parents for always supporting her and guiding her through all of the ups and downs. She also wants to thank her best friend, Tegan, for always being up for her crazy ideas and always pushing her to be the best version of herself. Lastly, she wants to thank her nursing school girls, Danielle and Haley, for simply going through this exciting ride along with her. Great Bay faculty, thank you for all of your dedication to us. Class of 2021, we did it. Jeremy Davis Van Dessel. Jeremy would like to thank his Lord, his wife, and his family, both immediate and extended, as well as his advisor, Lori Murray, and his nursing study group for always encouraging him to keep going, especially when he wanted to give up. All the glory belongs to you, Jesus. Ryan N. Vaughn. Ryan has dreamt of being a nurse since she was a little girl and feels beyond blessed to be standing here today. Ryan would like to thank the faculty and staff for their continued support and patience. She would like to thank her family and friends who were there through every jump for joy and every tear. Most of all, Ryan is grateful to her son for being her reason to push through to the finish line. Catherine Elaine Walsh. Catherine would like to thank her family and friends for supporting her through all the battles she has fought to be here today. The same boiling water that softens a potato also hardens the egg. It's about what you're made of, not the circumstances. I did it and I'm still standing. Isra K. Zaney. Isra would like to thank the nursing faculty. She is so inspired by the love and dedication to the profession and for the help provided to prepare her and her classmates today. She would like to thank her parents, the Staples family, especially her partner Nick, for keeping her grounded through many periods of feeling off kilter. She couldn't have done this without you. To the graduating class, your determination and patience in the last two unpredictable years has been contagious. She says, by the end, we were all pretty drained, as evidenced by showing up to clinical with two very different shoes on. <laughs> Thank you for continuously uplifting each other and believing in each other. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you, Heather. It is now my pleasure to introduce Catherine Walsh, who will lead the graduates in the resuscitation of the Nursing Pledge. Before Catherine um, comes up, I just wanted to explain a little bit about this part of the ceremony. And this also dates back to Florence Nightingale's experience during the Crimean War. She was known as the Lady of the Lamp as she cared for injured soldiers at night, carrying a lamp to light her way. And the lamp is now considered an international symbol of nursing. So all of you have um, your candles underneath your chairs. So 
you can turn those on and get them lit up and then Catherine will let you all know to stand and then you'll read it all together just so you know what's going on because we weren't able to do any practice for this so all right everyone <laughs> <sighs> All right, stand up with me. Let's do this. Are we ready? I pledge myself here before my God and in the presence of the assembly to practice my profession with integrity. I will endeavor to maintain and elevate the standard of nursing, both as a science and as an art. No tears. <laughs> I wholeheartedly recognize the importance of high standards of care and personal accountability. I devote myself to the healing, protection, and welfare of those committed to my care. I accept a duty to work for the improvement of health in the communities in which I live and work. I will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping and will respect the privacy of medical information. I will act with compassion in ethical matters. I will not knowingly administer or consume any harmful substance. I commit to interdisciplinary collaboration and lifelong learning. I fully acknowledge the seriousness of the responsibility that I accept in my calling and the significance of this pledge that I take today. Did I lose a, <laughs> Did I lose a card? We did it. <laughs> we can like, take a seat. <laughs> You guys can all sit down. <laughs> well, Catherine told you to all sit down, but I'm going to say, will our graduates please rise? Move your tassel from right to left. Honored guests, family, and friends, I present to you the class of 2021. I see that we have all unmuted. I would like to close our ceremonies today <clears throat> with a blessing adapted from the Talmud as you go on your way from this place. May you live to see your world fulfilled. May your destiny be for things still to come. And may you trust in generations past and those yet to be. May your heart be filled with intuition and your words filled with insight. May songs of peace ever be upon your tongue and your vision be on a straight path before you. Congratulations, graduates.